Okay, you guys, I have another painted vase tutorial for you today. I already shared a baking soda and paint tutorial a couple months ago. Actually, I think it was in the fall that I shared that one. And that mixture gives you a beautiful textured matte finish. And today I wanted to share with you how to paint a glass vase and make it look like an aged or old world worn piece of pottery or ceramic using plaster of Paris and then baking soda and paint paint as well. This is a super, super, super easy project. Just as easy as the baking soda and paint. You just need that one more material, Plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is really easy to find and really easy to use. I think my husband picked mine up at Home Depot for me. And then it's two parts Plaster of Paris with one part water. So I ended up using four tablespoons of Plaster of Paris and then I actually used three tablespoons of water. The thing about this project is both with the Plaster of Paris and the baking soda and paint, it's flexible how much you actually use and your product, your project's still going to turn out really great. So don't, you know, be stressed out about the amounts and is it going to dry properly or anything like that. It's just to create the right amount of texture. So Plaster of Paris, I think, is usually used to fill cracks and holes in drywall, so it's really thick, but I wanted it to be a little bit runnier to apply to my vase, so I ended up using a bit more water but you can play around with it when you do it you just mix it up and paint it on with the paintbrush and then it will let it dry and I think mine dried for about 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes and then it was ready to apply the first coat of paint so I'm gonna show you guys how I did everything step by step to take a glass vase and make it look like an old piece of pottery and I hope you guys enjoy it Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to mix up your plaster of Paris in water and then you're going to apply it in a thin layer all over your glass vase. Now, if you want that really textured kind of crumbly look, just smush your paintbrush along and it will give you lots of texture and then let it dry completely. Mine took about, I think, 45 minutes to dry. Next, you're going to mix up your baking soda with either your acrylic craft paint from like the craft store or paint that you would use to paint your walls. I have about a cup here of dark gray paint, or I guess it's, I think it's black actually, black paint, and I'm using to start a tablespoon of baking soda. I've seen people use baking powder as well. It really doesn't matter. You can try either of them, whatever you have on hand. And you also really can't mess this up. If you add too much baking soda and it's too thick, just add a little bit more paint. Or if once you mix in a tablespoon, you'd like it to be thicker, then you can add some more. And this is not going to affect, affect how your project turns out. You can play around with this and mix it to your heart's desire. I am going to be using three different shades. I've got black, kind of a medium orangey brown, and a light gray, just because I want that really variegated pottery look when my project is done. I'm kind of going for something that is super, super, super old, and so I want lots of different tones in it. And yeah, we'll see how it turns out.
Okay, so once you've made sure that your plaster of Paris is completely dry, then you are going to go in with your paintbrush and I just dabbed my paintbrush in all three colors and I started to kind of brush and stipple it on to my vase. And you can really have fun with this because if you're not loving the shade, you can go back over it with a lighter color. Um, there really it was not rocket science or an exact science even. I just started dipping my paintbrush and kind of um, stippling it and smushing it all over my vase. The one thing that I would like to mention is that if you go back over an area that has been quite saturated with paint, you might notice that your plaster of Paris and that painter painted area kind of slides and even comes off. If that happens, that's okay. Just don't touch it and let it dry completely as you continue to go around the rest of the vase where there's only plaster of Paris. And you're going to need two or three coats to completely cover your glass vase. So you can go back once it's all dry and dab more um, of your baking soda and paint on those areas that kind of slid a little bit on you. So don't panic if that happens. That happened to me a couple times. I'm not exactly sure why it is so finicky, but it definitely can be. So you just want to apply um, paint and try not to go back over the area if you can, um, and then do that once it has completely dried. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was really fun. And now I want to paint every glass vase in my house. <laughs>Hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial again it's very similar to that baking soda and paint that we did back in the fall but just adds that little bit extra like textured and like crumbly look i guess um, with the plaster of paris i absolutely love how it turned out i can't wait to use it on a bunch of other vases that i have lying around the house this is great for those thrift store finds you can upcycle those you can shop around your home and look for things that you haven't been using and it really can be used on anything that's glass or ceramic. I've even painted with baking soda and paint on the bases of lamps. It doesn't have to just be vases. It can be any decorative piece. And yeah, you can take something that you maybe otherwise would have given away or thrown out and transform it and use it around your home. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We would love it if you hit that subscribe button. You can also find us on thebeautyrevival.com, on Instagram at the.beautyrevival, and on Pinterest at thebeautyrevival. Bye guys.